In today's video, I'm going to show you a real simple method using Canva where you can take your colored clip art like this, turn them black and white like this, and then turn them into color and pages like this. Now, what I'm about to share with you is actually really simple to do. We don't need any fancy editing softwares, and we can do it all within Canva. Now, first of all, what we're going to need are some graphics. So what I've gone ahead and done is come straight over to Creative Fabrica, and as Christmas is coming up, all I typed in is Christmas clip art. Now, there's one thing to note if you are going to try and do this, and that is, ideally, you need clip art or graphics that have a black border around the outside. So after a little bit of scrolling, I've scrolled through all of this Christmas clip art just here, and I found, where is it? It should be here somewhere. I found this. Now I've got this open just here, and something like this, this type of clip art, would be perfect to turn black and white and turn into colour and pages. Because if we take a look at this, we can see that every single image has a little bit of a black border round the outside. Now again, this is actually very important if you want to do this method. Now, the method which I'm about to share with you, is this the best way to create a colouring page or a colouring book? No, it's probably not. There's lots of different ways that you can actually go around creating colouring pages. One of my favourites is by using ChatGPT and Midjourney. Now, I actually have this, which is the ultimate colouring page prompt generator, which is a set of prompts and lots of information, which we then feed ChatGPT, and then it gives us prompts for Midjourney. Now, if you want to check this out, there will be a link down in the description below. Now, what I've gone ahead and done is downloaded all of these graphics just here. I've then come over to Canva and I've already uploaded them here. So here's all the graphics. If we find one of these, let's take this Santa. If we take this and put it on the page like this, we can see it has that black and white border. And again, this is very important if you want to do this method, because if you try and do this on clip art, which doesn't have a black outline like this, then it's not going to turn out right. Now from here, what we actually want to do is click on the image like this, and then we want to come up to Edit Photo. Now from here, we want to go to Adjust, and then we want to scroll down all the way to the bottom. Now recently, Canva has added this new Edit Image feature, where we have the colours just here. Now you can play around with the hue and actually change the colours on the graphics, but we don't want to do that. We want to turn this black and white so it's suitable for a colouring page. So what we want to do is go onto the saturation on this colour or whichever colours you have here, because we have to do all of them, but we want to turn the saturation down. So let's do that again. We want to turn that all the way down. We want to turn the brightness all the way up and then we want to come up to here where it says whites and we want to turn that to a hundred. And as we can see, it now looks more suitable for a colouring page. Now I actually forgot to do that colour as well. So we're going to go on there, just turn the saturation down and that brightness up. So that's the first one. So let's do a couple of these because you don't just want to have this on your colouring page, you want to create your colouring page. And the best way to do that is by having a bunch of different graphics so you can actually design a colouring page. Now, let's go on to the second one. Let's do this reindeer. Again, we're going to come up to Edit Photo. We're going to go to Adjust. We're going to come down to the colours. We're going to turn the saturation all the way down, the brightness all the way up. Then we're going to do that on the other colour as well. So let's turn that down. Let's turn that up. And then let's just turn these whites up as well. And there we go. So now you can see why having a black outline on your graphics is very important if you want to do this method. Now this method is also free as well because we're not actually using any Canva Pro features. Now let's just do one more of these. Let's go with the present or the gift. 
So we got that on the page. We're going to go to Edit Photo. We're going to go to Adjust. Scroll down to the bottom, come to the colors, turn the saturation down and the brightness up. We're going to do that on all of the colors just here, like so. And then we're going to go to whites and turn that up as well. And there we go. So this is how you can easily turn clip art into graphics suitable for color and pages. Now, what I'm going to do is just pause the video for one second while I go through and do this to a few other graphics so then I can show you how to actually start designing your color and pages. So there we go. I've gone through, I've done a few more. Now we have all of these individual graphics. We can use them to actually design a color and page. So right here, I have a blank page with a border on it as well. Now from here, what we can actually go ahead and do is take these individual graphics and start designing the color and page. Now, one thing I actually forgot to mention, which I'll say really quick, and that is when you're trying to find graphics over on Creative Fabrica or your favorite design website, you want to make sure that your graphics are a PNG and transparent. That means that when we actually go to create our color and pages, let's take this Santa, we're going to copy him, we're going to come back over to here, we're going to click paste but that means that when we have images which are transparent and we've turned black and white we can layer them on top so let's do another one like that if you see what i mean we can layer that behind we can layer it on top to actually design a page now for this instance let's take this santa let's take him there and let's move him let's move him over and we can actually crop him a little bit as well like this and make him a little bit bigger we could also have a reindeer so let's copy that let's paste him there and make him smaller maybe let's just put him there like that and we could take a christmas tree and we could put that behind so now if we move that all the way to the back we could possibly have him like that or have the christmas tree like that maybe center it there Ideally, this one isn't actually completely black and white, as we can see a little bit of brown. So I would want to change that a little bit more. But now I could crop that to there. We could then take some mistletoe. We could copy that. We could paste that in here. We could make smaller. We could flip this around as well, like so. And then we could have that in the corner. We could copy that again. We could move that over to there. And then we could paste this as well or flip that as well like that so it matches up with the other one and we could also make him a little bit bigger maybe like this but this is what it's about it's about taking your graphics turning them black and white and then designing a coloring page from those graphics now from here if we actually take this frame let's just unlock that let's push this to the front we can see that now looks good. So now I could take a font and put it on here and type something like Merry Christmas. So let's go over to text. Let's go to add text. And we're just going to put Merry Christmas. We're just going to make that a little bit smaller so it fits on here like so. And now I'm going to go through my fonts. I believe I do have some Christmas fonts. Now I'm going to click enter. And now I'm going to find one suitable for a coloring book. Now, this one just here looks like it would work very well. Let's take that. Let's make that a little bit bigger, like so. Let's just change that line spacing. That's the wrong one. Let's do that again. Click on here. Let's do that line spacing so it shortens that gap. Let's just move this down. And then let's just put it at a little bit of an angle, like so. Now, if we go to effects and if we go to outline, we can change the outline to black and we can change the font to white like so. So that way it's suitable to be colored in as well. Now, let's just play around with this for a few more seconds because I don't quite like how this looks. So we're going to push that border to the back. We can now make this one a bit bigger like so. We're just going to delete that so we can copy and paste this one. We're going to flip this around as well, like so. And then we're going to put that there. I don't quite like how this Christmas tree is. 
So let's make that a little bit smaller. Let's put that back like so. And maybe we could have that just there. Now let's just do that as well. And let's just move this around for a minute till it looks better. So maybe we could have that more centered like that. We could possibly move him over as well, make him a bit bigger like this. And there we go, it's looking a little bit better. But I'd spend a lot more time on this actually designing that coloring page. Now let's actually put his feet back and let's just move him up like so. Then let's take this frame and just push that back to the front like so. So there we go. That's how you can take your clip art and then turn them black and white in Canva to create color and pages. Just remember that if you do want to try this method, try and find graphics that do have a nice black outline like these. Otherwise, it's not going to work very well. Now, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give me a like as it really helps out the channel. And if you want to watch more of my content, then click right here and watch this playlist.